What's up? What's up? What's up? It's your boy Z Dog, and I'm back with another video. So, man, we are inside the steel building. About to uh, look like we're about to get some kind of steel put on here. So, let me uh, let me find out right quick, and uh, we're gonna get the roller. So, uh, I started getting out all my dunnage, my core rack, because he told me I got 12 of them. I'm like, oh my God, I got 12 of them? Then he came and said, because I'm like, I ain't got enough stuff to put 12 of them on here. I'm like, I don't know what I'm going to do. He come back and tell me I got good news, I got bad news. I said, give me the good news first. I need that. He said, you ain't going to need none of that. I said, yeah. I said, what's the bad news? He said, you gotta put all this stuff back up. I said, you know what, I'll take it. I try to keep a positive attitude. I said, no problem, teamwork, we're gonna make this happen. So let me get all this stuff here, put back up over here and here. Zeke Dog got all his stuff put back up. working with I'm so glad these things was on uh on on skids or pads already and that's why I didn't put up this tarp I already knew I was gonna get another one I'm like, I'm gonna roll this thing right here and uh and call it fair. So let's uh let me get the rest of this stuff on here and start tarping after that. Alright. Man, when I say your boy Zeke dog, they got this stuff tied down. I got two chains running through this, chains running through every one. You you want a chain in every one. And then I got straps going across two of them at a time. Some of y'all gonna say, man, Zeke, you the over-secured this thing. Ain't no such thing as over-secured. She in there. And then I still gotta put the top on this baby. But I'd rather spend more time right now on the front end instead of uh, worrying about something going down the road. Cause if something come off this truck, 
it could very well be your family right next to my truck or my family. So I don't want nothing to happen to me. I don't want nothing to happen to y'all. I'm gonna make sure she's good in lockdown. Cause they only 4,000 pounds a piece. You're talking about a chain and two straps over. That's 15,000 pounds of force on it. So it's, it's very well over secured, but I'd rather have it going. I got I got a lot of miles to get done. I got uh, almost 900 miles. So I'm going down to Florida with this load. And uh, I just want to make sure she's good, man. So we're going to get this tarp put on it. And then uh, we're going to roll. Man, when I tell y'all, this load right here to work your boy Zeke down. Man, oh man, oh man. That's what I'm here though. Here for. I'm here to work. I'm here to grind. This load, uh, it'll, it'll probably get delivered tomorrow. I'm gonna try to get it there tomorrow down to Jacksonville, Florida. Like 800, uh, 800 some miles. So, I'm gonna grind. Y'all already know it. I'm about to push it. Make sure I stay within my hours of service. I don't need no more strikes against me. But uh, yeah, man, this is what we got right here. So, whew. if you just tuning in, like, share, subscribe, turn on that notification bell, and join the dog team. So uh, I'm waiting on my paperwork, man. Once I get that paperwork, man, it's skedaddles. We out of here. What up with y'all, man? It's your boy Zeke, dog. It's the next day. My load still looking good. I done slept good. I done, uh, actually came out and checked all my, my chains and stuff. Gotta make sure you get up under here and, and, and check them good. But, uh, I just always like touching them when I'm, <laughs> when I'm walking back by. Hey, I appreciate uh, y'all letting me know. Uh, one guy in the comment, he told me what this uh, what this was for. It's for your ABS, and if it's not working, your ABS light will be on. I was like, what? Appreciate that, bro. I ain't know that, man. I don't, I'm new over here, man. So when I be saying I don't know something in the comment, man, let your boy Zeke down know. Help me out. Now, I'm gonna have to uh, slide my axles back today. So this will be the first time that I'll be using this. Uh, I ain't gonna do it right now. I gotta go down into Florida. I like driving with spread axles, but uh, can't try that with Florida. So, let me tell y'all what I've been going through this morning. I've been sitting for uh I've been sitting for over two hours because my Qualcomm wouldn't let me go. <laughs> it, it it was resetting, it wouldn't bring up my hours of service. I mean this thing was just going haywire. So I called my logs. They told me to do this. I called my logs. They told me to do that. Wait 20 minutes. Wait 20 minutes. I called my kept calling. And finally they had to call Omnitrack, the people that actually own this system or whatever. And uh and get that fixed. So uh I gotta figure out uh let me see if everything is in here. I think everything is good now for me to try to get the roller, man. So I'm not gonna make a delivery uh, today with this load. It uh, it really wasn't possible. I looked at I looked at what time I would have would have gotten down there, and it would have been roughly an hour after they closed. Uh, or stop taking delivery. So I was like, hey, you know, today is just a ride day, a chill day. I'm gonna see if I can make some stops uh, to show y'all some interesting stuff, places I like to stop at, and uh, 
we just gonna go from there, man. We're gonna, we gonna enjoy this. We're gonna have fun. Uh, we're gonna be safe out here, man, because, you know, everybody is, is always saying, oh, man, trucking is this, trucking is that. Man, trucking is dangerous. It, it, it's freaking dangerous. I mean, as you see, man, you can just be standing outside and, and almost get ran over, you know, so, um, be safe out here, man. Um, Zeke Dog definitely keep his head on the swivel. You know, y'all you, you, may not see what I'm looking at, but I'm always looking around, checking my environment. I've, I've been like that since I got back from my rack in 03. Uh, from 03 to 04 when I got back. So, uh, yeah, man, it's I'm, I'm, I'm peeping game out here. And um, I'm definitely staying safe, man. So, appreciate all the uh support and, and and prayers i believe some of y'all praying for me so i appreciate all that man and uh we're gonna keep this thing rolling go keep on rolling baby <laughs> all right doll team this is the next morning <laughs> uh i ain't in number job yesterday so didn't do no record but uh just did my pre-trip Everything looking good up under here. Make sure you check your fluids, your hoses, looking for any leaks. Want to check your tires. Want to make sure you're all... Uh, Your fifth wheel is still is still secured up in there, which I can see the pin. Y'all probably can't with the uh, with this camera, but yeah, you check your load as well. You check everything. You want to make sure you can get out here and roll without ha without having no issues that you could have found out about that morning. So. Uh, I'm roughly 25 miles away from where I'm going to deliver at. I wasn't sure about the parking there, so I just went ahead and stopped at this uh, pilot. I got to I gotta spread my, close my axle before I cross over to Florida. So I'm about to do that. All right, let's see. Uh, <laughs> let's see if we can figure this out. Y'all are probably going to be like, Zeke, you were supposed to do this and supposed to do that. All right, let me just go back here and look first. See where everything is at. All right. That's in there. Okay. So... Right now, something just happened. Oh, snap! So, check this out. These pins just pull back in there. Except for this one. This one didn't pull back. Uh-oh. Let me look on the other side. That one didn't pull back that one did so let me uh do I suppose to hit this thing with a hammer let me go get my hammer now the front axles I heard them lock Leave that alone. I locked my door already. Get my little crowbar and my hammer. May have to beat on some stuff. 
zone. Let's see if uh, if some light little love taps will get this to move. Y'all saw that. Let me go check the other side. See if the other side is free. Yep. All right. So, I should only have to put this baby in a, uh, what, reverse? Yeah. Let's try to go backwards and see what happens. I bagged it up to where uh, it closed. And we come over here, close this back up, and my pins should be popping back out on it. I heard the brakes release. Okay, the pins just released out, just released out. I'm gonna check the other side, even though it should be the same as this side, I might as well check because it is four of them babies all four of those good let's go make some money now so uh yeah you can't go into florida with no spread axles and uh and just be milly vanilla chilling don't do it and i really have forgot i ain't gonna lie i got a message on my quad come reminding me and i was like oh snap Got to spread my axles. And I also rode it right here on my window so I wouldn't pull off. <laughs> I wouldn't pull off and forget. So uh let me clean this off my window right quick. But yeah man, sometimes you just gotta remind yourself to, to do things. You get so anxious to get the roll in and next thing you know, you the violated DOT or Whatever. Clean the inside of my windows a little bit. It ain't too bad or nothing. Just I'll give them a little wipe. I like clean windows. It's the military in me. When I was over in Iraq. We used to have to keep, well, let me, let me rephrase that. I used to keep my windows extremely clean because I didn't want to uh, not see something in the road and, and uh, or see something in the road and it's really on my win window. Uh, man, they were putting IEDs under animals, under uh, any kind of little junk they could put in the road. So I felt, if my window was clean, I had the best vision to see what could potentially harm me. So that's why, or how I became like OCD about my windows. So, uh, yeah, we uh, went 24 miles away. We about to go do that. 
get this baby unloaded. Maybe pick up another load, but shut down for the weekend now, baby. So let's go. Dog team. We have made it. We have made it. We are down here in Florida. Man, look at that, look at that. Oh, when I tell you, Zeke Dog been wanting some weather like this for a while. Man, this thing, this, this is beautiful. This is absolutely beautiful. I don't even want to work. Weather's so good, I just want to sit out here and chill out. But we got to get this tarp off. We got to get these straps off. We got to get these chains off. We got to go. So let's do it. Man, this baby here is locked down. When I tell y'all, she ain't went nowhere. She ain't smudged, shifted, twisted, nothing. That baby exactly where I left it. Cause I took the time in the beginning to secure it. I can't preach enough about securing your load. But, uh, that's, that was just one of the things in the beginning that I've always been conscious of is not wanting the stuff that I got loaded on my truck to end up in the back of my truck or end up on the ground somewhere. So uh, let's get to taking this baby loose. Under this baby. Oh, quickest way around the truck. <laughs> it might be the dangerous way too. I gotta do the same thing for the other side, get these straps pulled off, and then start working on the chain. Man, it don't take as long to come off as it does to get on, but it still take a long time. But uh, man, I'm just so happy, man. I'm about to be off for a couple of days. I might bring y'all with me. I might bring y'all with me. I'm gonna be in Savannah, Georgia. So, uh, I might bring y'all with me. That, that may be what, what the next move is going to be. So, let's see.
All right, dial team. Uh, man, that's pretty much it. Got this baby wrapped up. Uh, I'm not sure if they're going to send me to where I need to be going, uh, which is in Savannah, on an empty or with the load. So I'll be there for a couple days. Uh, so I guess I'll just wait a minute to see. Hold on. I'm trying to freaking talk. Um, straps falling out. All right. There we go. Man, I told y'all I make it look easy. But I promise you, it's not. Yeah, that's it, man. She is empty. I think I still got some uh, bungees down here. Yep. Use like a tail because I keep two sets on each side. And I only had three sets in there. I was like, uh oh, I missed the song. But uh, another successful load. Man, tell you it ain't easy. But if it was easy, everybody be doing it. This work is not for the faint heart. Man. But I love it. I absolutely love it. And uh, Hope y'all having a good day. Hopefully y'all uh, watching the video all the way through and getting to see everything that I'm putting into it. There we go. Man, I still find it hard to believe all this stuff can go up in here. But she in there. She is most definitely in there. All right, man, so uh, today was the day we actually reached 2,000 subscribers. And I made a post in there. And uh, I meant it, man. Thank y'all. Thank y'all for everything. Thank y'all for watching. Thank y'all for being with me on this journey. It's a long one. It ain't ending. It's, it's only going to get greater later. And, uh, it's, man, there's so much more to come, like, the ideas that's in my head, the things I want to do, the loads I want to get, it's coming. I want to show it all to y'all. Uh, so, man, until the next time, baby, keep it trucking.